stretching his lead with that black. He now leads by 10 frames to 7. Ali Carter in control of that match. He's three frames clear of Jamie Jones. We're going back to the action between Neil Robertson and Ronnie O'Sullivan. Ronnie O'Sullivan taking full advantage of that inexplicable miss on the black by Neil Robertson in the previous frame. Let's get back to the boys in the commentary box. Thank you, Richie. Three frames in front for Ali Carter. Three frames in front for Ronnie O'Sullivan. And an excellent open One. red. There'll be... A 15-minute break after this frame. Of course, it's one of those things. If Ronnie wins this frame, there you can see the distances: eight foot two and two foot six from the pocket, and went in like a bullet. It's one of those situations where I was just about to say, if Ronnie wins this frame, he went one time an interval. This is where the interval sometimes can change a match. Yeah. Ronnie, Three. he goes 12 weight in front, though. Highly unlikely for Robertson to win five frames, but you never Four. know. We've already seen four frames uh, come back from a couple of times this week. Eleven. Twelve. Thirty-three. Just seems in a rush, didn't he, Ronnie? He's already after some two minutes on thirty-three, and a few more to come. Thirty-four. And when you consider he just stopped for three or four seconds on that last red, how how quickly he puts a frame, or well, certainly puts the. Frame in a position 41. where he's a, a favourite to win it. 42. This is the kind of mood he was in all those years ago when he made that 147 in 526. He's in that kind of mood. 47. 48. Well, this is the key shot. Can he get onto a red? He tried to leave the blue half ball, he's overscrewed it. Yeah, I think he gets the feeling he's playing so well that he can up the pace a bit. That's what it, I get the sense that that's the case. He's got, still got to be careful, though. 53. This would be a great frame to convert. Marvellous shot. 54. And perfect angle. Perfect angle. Neil Robertson's looking up, hoping that this split won't work for O'Sullivan. And it, well, it has the top red possible. It's come out enough to pot into the corner. Just that red, just pushed further enough past the pink to make it potable. 62. And this is a brilliant break. <clears throat> just coming up to four minutes, and it's one pot away from going 12 8 in front. Four minutes and you've already won the frame, Steve, huh? Amazing. 68. 75. 76. Oh, fantastic queuing. Just... 79. Knocking them in for fun, really. What a great feeling that must be like at the World Championship. 
Yes, Ronnie Eight. catching up with Jamie Jones. Should he make a century here? Jamie's in the lead with seven. This will be Ronnie's sixth. The 60th of the tournament. It's going to take some beating 85. in this tournament, I feel. And how can he play this good? 86. Yet sometimes don't want to play. It's, it really is frightening how good he can be, this guy. Ninety-three. Ninety-four. If he does win this quarter-final, his opponent... One hundred. It was a shame, amazingly enough, the break comes to the end at 5.26. But it already did enough to win. Robertson in deep, deep trouble. Ronnie O'Sullivan leads 12.8. And needs just one more for a spot in the semi-finals. And Ken, you've been sitting here and you've been <laughs> saying you're just incredible. Shaking my head. I'll tell you, I've not seen uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan play as well as this for a couple of years. It's just his opening shot in this break and the break in the last round when Neil Robertson missed the black. Just have a look at this. Well, look at the top spin he gets on it. He doesn't just go up for the ball colours. He goes in and out of bulk and uh, went, went on to make another century break. I've not seen him hit the ball as well for a long, long time. Mm. And as Steve Davis said in commentary, it must be so nice to be able to play like that. He's potting them for fun, yeah. and particularly when it means so much in the World Championship. Neil Robertson came into this tournament and into this match mm -hmm. with a lot of people talking about him yeah. as the one that might be the one to beat. Mm -hmm. uh, the way Ronnie O'Sullivan is playing now, surely he has set the standard for everybody else in the tournament. Absolutely. Well, I saw Neil Robertson first time because he beat me in the first round, mm -hmm. but uh, he was playing. I thought he was going to really put it up to Ronnie, and he has, and he's tried yeah. to. But I think that Miss Black in that frame uh, yeah. may have cost him this World Championship. OK, we're just going to pop over to the table next door. Ali Carter against Jamie Jones. Ali Carter, of course, won the first frame of the evening session here. But at the moment, Jamie Jones on a break of 27. He's hoping to get back into it. He's three frames down. He, of course, is playing very well at the moment. Uh, don't forget that if you want to carry on watching Jamie Jones and Ali Carter, or indeed Ronnie Jamie O'Sullivan Jones, and Neil Robertson, you can do so via the red button or by going...